Now we have Dr. Ramswamy's conversation with John Whitbeck, Chairman of the 10th Congressional District Republican Committee. Good morning. I'm Aparna Ramaswamy, and I have the distinct pleasure of welcoming you for today's talk. I have a wonderful guest for us, John Whitbeck, a newly elected chairman of the 10th Congressional District in Virginia Republican Party. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. It's an absolute pleasure. Uh, I am probably a good representative of that population who watches our show, a South Asian population, who has a peripheral awareness of the political process. Right. Tell us a little bit about your role as the chairperson for the 10th district. Well, the Virginia Republican Party is divided into congressional districts. There's 11 congressional districts in Virginia, and each one has a chairman that's elected to represent the district on the exec what's called the Executive Committee of the Republican Party. And my role is to be sort of the... Uh, the interface between the campaigns that are going on in the 10th district for the state and local and federal levels, also to uh, deal with party business when it comes up in Richmond, and also to uh, oversee a lot of the units, and we call them units in, in the different counties and cities where the Republican Party's organized. I know um, we had a chance to talk a little bit about this before we started the interview. It is important for you to be here today in this interview and reaching right. out to our population, right. a lot of Indian, South Asian community. Why is that? We in the Republican Party have not done a great job uh, giving you a reason in the South Asian community why you should support our candidates. We need to do a better job of that. And one of the things that I've tried to do as chairman is make it clear that my new ideas are going to be getting that done. And that's one of my main focuses. Uh, we are constantly uh, reaching out, getting to know uh, not only the, the cultural um, uh, events and things in the district, but just meeting people. Um, I've been to social events. I've been to uh, business events, networking events. I've been to just you know one-on-one -on -one, uh, uh, lunches with, with the people in the South Asian community. And that's the way, building those relationships with those people and, 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 and them getting to know me and getting to know our candidates um, is the first step. And then from there... It's pushing legislation that's important to, to the South Asian community. We in the Republican Party, I think, match the values that the South Asian community has. We are small business oriented, uh, entrepreneurial oriented, low taxes, less government. People talk about family values and just, just strengthening the family and making sure that, that the family is not being um, stifled by government and what it wants to accomplish. And everything that you all hold dear, we hold dear in our party. And we need to do a better job of selling that to you and telling you that, that we're, we're the, the, the politicians for you and, and, the, and the candidates for you and for your community. I hear that when you say the Republican Party, the values are, you know, are mirrored, resonate with a lot of the South Asian values. And you mentioned new initiatives that you bring to the, uh, as a chairperson. Right. Could you tell me a little bit more about that? What right. new initiatives are we talking so, about? One of the things that we have uh, has caused us to lose elections is the turnout and the vote for the youth and the minority communities around the country have been for the Democrats. Um, I'm determined to, in the 10th district at least, and in Virginia at large, to make sure that we start to get those votes. Um, one of the things I've done is I've organized two committees within the 10th district, uh, our Youth Outreach Committee and our Minority Outreach Committee. These committees are tasked with identifying leaders in the, in the, in the youth uh, areas like high schools, colleges, uh, getting them started uh, early, uh, getting to know the Republican Party, and then in, in the different uh, minority communities, um, learning who are the, the leaders in the community, what are the, the, the community events that they're, that they're doing, what are the, the various things that are important to them, what issues are important to them. And, and, and having uh, those committees uh, reach out and do that. There's only so much that I can do as, as the chairman. Uh, so having that help, and we're doing it not just in the South Asian community. I have uh, two folks in the uh, Hispanic community that are just really active and really excited. The African American community, we are going everywhere we can go to in the 10th district to sell um, uh, this party. You know, the future of this, of this nation and of this party is uh, diversity. 
It really is. We are no longer just a, a one uh, one community that, that sort of uh, you know uh, dominates everywhere in the United States. We are changing in, in America. And if the Republican Party doesn't change with it, we're going to have a much harder time winning elections. You know, it's interesting, John, that you tell me that you know you are the same. And of course, you know that we hear that often. I'm curious, as John Whitbeck, a white man, and I am probably representative of many of our viewing audience, how is it that you as a representative of the Republican Party, view the commonalities, the cultural commonalities, the human commonalities, and how is that evidenced? Well, besides the things I've already talked about with, I think, the values that we hold, you know, uh, small business, uh, encouraging small business, getting government out of the way, lower taxes, less spending, um, we, we recognize cu culturally significant events in my community and in other communities, uh, in the Hispanic community and whatnot, um, and I think we need to start uh, telling the South Asian community that we're, we're, we're interested in the same thing uh, for, for them. Uh, one of the things I'm excited about is, is one of our delegates and, and, a, and our senators in, a, in the local Loudoun County area is going to be introducing legislation uh, to make Diwali Day the uh, Indian Day in all of Virginia. And I think uh, what that does is it's a recognition that... Um, events, holidays, cultural events, whatever you want to call it, that are important to the, to the Indian community are just as important to Virginia as a whole. And the South Asian community as a whole itself also, uh, we are going to be aggressively looking for ways to express to them that we're going to be um, interested in what their culture is and, and what, what, what days are important to them and what we're going to do for them. You know, what comes through clear to me is one, the passion with which you speak. Uh, so that makes me wonder about you, your background, and the other part of it, the message of inclusivity, of trying to reach out to the youth, the community, to understand what the community is about so they feel their presence represented. Right. I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about yourself. What, where is this passion coming from? What is your background? Right. Well, I started uh, in college uh, working in politics. So I've always been a Republican since I was a child. Um, I then went to law school at George Mason University Law School, and that was an outstanding place to go to school. I learned a lot about uh, economics and business. We had a really economics and business oriented curriculum at George Mason. And then when I, I left, I, uh, scared to death, uh, started my, my own law firm right out of law school. I worked for a small law firm for about a year, and then I started my own law firm. And by age 29, I was appointed to be a substitute judge. Um, I became a pre professor of law in my 20s at George Mason Law School and really never looked back from that entrepreneurial uh, do-it-yourself uh, thing that my, my, my father taught me and my grandfather taught me. And I have two children and a wife. I'm very proud of my, my family. And I, I just see a lot of parallels between my experience and my story to the folks that I'm meeting in the South Asian community. I think we are in the same place. You are here in, our, in, in the United States, just like we're here in the United States, in the technology world, uh, raising a family, um, you know, building a business, whether it's a restaurant or a law firm or a CPA firm, selling mortgages, whatever you do, I think we're the same. I really do. And I think our party and, and the experiences that we have and what we can offer to the South Asian community is really what, uh, what the Republican Party gave to me and why I'm a Republican. And I, and I hope I can, I can bring that to you all. It's been wonderful hearing and sharing your Thank point you of view. Much. If there are other things that were not said that you would like to say to our viewers, Please, I invite you to say it. We have three outstanding Republican candidates. Uh, Frank Wolf running for Congress in the 10th District, George Allen running for the United States Senate, and, of course, Mitt Romney running nationwide. Um, these are three individuals who have a story uh, similar to the ones we've been talking about. They've owned businesses. They've created jobs. They've been fighting for Virginians their entire career. Uh, you know, Mitt Romney, obviously, is not from Virginia. Um, this is the, the ground zero for the entire nation. Uh, Loudoun County, Fairfax County, the 10th District, If th this is where the, the battle is really going to be fought between the Republicans and the Democrats in this election. And if we don't appeal to the South Asian community and the other communities that aren't our traditional voters, uh, we're not going to be as successful as we could be, and that's why I'm doing this. Fantastic. Uh, if, not if, those of us who have seen your interview today wish to contribute in a meaningful way by offering us support, what would we do? Yeah. Well, I, we'll, we'll put you to work, I guarantee you. Uh, email me at john, uh, J-O-H-N, at johnwhitbeck.com, J-O-H-N-W-H-I-T-B-E-C-K.com. 
uh, reach out to me. I will find a, a place for you to, to volunteer, be a part of the, the 2012 efforts and beyond. We'll have elections in Virginia in 2013 that are very important. And I'd love to hear from everybody. So, Thank you so, so much. I hope you enjoyed our show today. Thank you.